Hello everyone and thank you for taking the time to view our 2022 Year 7 Welcome Evening video. Ideally we would all be sitting in the Hazel Glen Auditorium going through this information and getting the opportunity to physically meet one another in preparation for the journey that we're about to undertake together. Unfortunately, due to the current climate that we find ourselves in once again, this isn't possible. But as we have done throughout these difficult times, we will continue to remain positive and adapt our practices to make the best out of the situation that we find ourselves in. Hazel Glen College acknowledges the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional custodians and educators of the land on which the college stands. Hazel Glen College respectfully recognises all Elders past, present and emerging. We are committed to enhancing the knowledge and understanding of our community about the history, heritage and cultures of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. This video will act as an introduction to some of the key leadership staff in, in place in the Year 7 program supporting our Year 7 cohort and contains a snapshot of the key information to help transition your child into secondary education at Hazel Glen College. At the conclusion of this video, if you have any further questions, please post them on the Google form attached and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'd now like to introduce the middle school principal, Ms Carolyn Bamberg. Hello, my name is Carolyn Bamberg and I'm the middle school principal here at Hazel Glen College. Thanks for choosing our college and I look forward to getting to know all of our families throughout 2022. First and foremost, I cannot begin this presentation without acknowledging the difficulties many families are currently experiencing and have experienced over the past two years. The world is not the same place and our community is hurting. Moving to secondary years of schooling is a big life event and some of you might be feeling nervous and worried about it. I want you to know that we are here to listen, to keep you safe and help support you and over the course of this presentation, I hope you get a sense that even though we are a big school, we also have big hearts and care for what is best for our students. We are really hoping to get the opportunity to run our full transition program this year, but the truth is we are still awaiting the green light from the Department of Education. As soon as possible, we will welcome all new students in to look around, find your place and meet your new students and teachers. Now on to the rest of the presentation. The middle school at Hazel Glen comprises years five, six, seven and eight. This re represents early adolescence, a time of exciting change and transformation. Over the next few years, you will see the obvious physical changes as your kids grow up, but you may not be able to directly see the huge changes going on in the brain. Kids at this age are starting to develop abstract thinking, questioning their world and identity, and the brain is pruning itself, trying to figure out what is important and what is not. We see this come through in the students and how they value social relationships. We see increased conflict with parents and peers, and sometimes they take a hit to their confidence. We also see kids flourish when given the opportunity to try new things, develop their leadership skills, get excited about learning, and develop safe and positive relationships. When we get the balance right, and when all of us are working together, we will see great positivity and enjoyment and great outcomes for our kids. The next few years will not be easy and nor should they be. Our students will at times struggle and they will certainly make mistakes. That's important for them to help them grow. It is in our roles as educators and as parents to monitor their struggle, support them when it gets too much and coach them from the sidelines. Your children need you now more than ever. They need you to know that we are in the wings and you will always be their champions. So we ask that when we, you come to the college, we commit to keeping the communication lines open, let your home group teacher or your year level leader know what's happening and we will too. It is so very important, especially in our current climate, that our kids know they have someone to talk to without judgment and someone they can trust. They also need a trusted adult outside of their family they can talk to. And Christy and Tom will provide some information of how we do this. Thanks again for placing your trust in us and signing on to work with us for the betterment of your child's future. Good evening, my name is Christy Harvey and I'm the middle school assistant principal. Part of what makes our college a unique place to learn and work are the values that we live by every day. These are what we call the four R's, respect, resilience, responsibility and relationships. These are not values that are stuck on the wall somewhere and forgotten about. They really mean something. We use the language of the four R's in the classroom and in the yard. We encourage our students to live by these values every day 
both at school and in their everyday lives. They don't care to learn unless they learn that we care. Hazel Glen College prides itself on the importance of building trusting and genuine relationships with our students. Teachers in our middle school understand the needs of the adolescent learner. They understand that this is a time of significant change for our students, emotionally, cognitively and physically. Our teachers understand that during this time, students need to feel safe and secure in their learning environment. They must feel heard and know that we genuinely care. Our teachers do this by getting to know the individual student. They take a genuine interest in their lives, what they like to do in their spare time, what sports they like to play, whether they have siblings or pets. When the teachers take the time to find out their students' interests, they can tie this into their learning, which promotes engagement and academic growth. Building positive relationships is not only between the teacher and the student. It is vital that we also maintain positive relationships with families. Working together and keeping open communication with families ensures our teachers know how to best cater to their students' needs. We encourage families to keep in regular contact with teachers and relevant staff members to ensure we can provide the best possible learning environment for your child. The middle school curriculum is structured to ensure a smooth transition into year seven and the introduction of a variety of new subjects and opportunities for the future. Subjects studied in year seven include English, mathematics, science, humanities, PEP, which is our personal enhancement program. This focuses on metacognition and social and emotional skills. Students also study health, physical education, and can choose between studying the languages of either Chinese or Italian. Our semester-based subjects include food technology, digital technology, and creative technology. Students can also choose between music and drama in year seven. Our curriculum program provides a compre comprehensive education catering to the educational needs of all students. The college recognises and caters for the different rates of progress students take as they master the key comp competencies outlined within the Victorian curriculum. Programs of study are differentiated to cater to the varying levels within any learning group. Our teaching staff cater to students' needs, construct individual learning plans and modified programs. Some of the specific programs we run to cater to the wide range of abilities with the college include the Victorian High Abilities Program, which is a virtual extension and enrichment program that focuses, focuses on developing student skills in mathematics and in English. Mylands is our middle year's literacy and numeracy support intervention program. This program aims at supporting students who require extra support in their numeracy or literacy. Identified students with additional learning needs and funding may also have access to our Learning Enhancement Centre, or as we call it, our LAC. This further supports their learning through small group and individual, individual targeted learning. We also run electives for our Year 8 students in English and Mathematics in Semester 2. In English, some of these subjects include Heroes and Controversy, which focuses on sports literature, Who's Afraid of the Dark, which is mystery, thrillers and crime, Advocates and Arguments, which is current issues and debates, Myths, Heroes and Superheroes, which is science fiction and mythology. In mathematics, some of these electives include fashion design, which we call Degrees of Dior, sports performance, which we call peak performance, building design and architecture, which we call the house that Jack built. And lastly, video game design, which we call Ready Player One. Home learning. So the purpose of home learning is to create connections between school and home and to support the learning that is happening in the classroom. A critical part of home learning expectations is independent reading. Research states that a student who reads for 20 minutes a day will hear almost 2 million words per year and on standardised tests score 90% better than their peers in comparison to only 10% better than their peers for those that do not spend time reading at home. This data is powerful in demonstrating the importance reading has on our students and how supportive supporting your child to read at home can have a significant impact on their success. Further to reading, Year 7 students are also expected to complete home learning in mathematics, 
to consolidate learning that is happening in the classroom. Students may also have extra work or extra tasks to complete in other subjects or things that they may, not, may need to finish off. I would now like to introduce our middle school captains who will talk about their own individual experiences in middle school at Hazel Glen College. Thank you. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm one of the middle school captains this year. I started at Hazel Glen in year five. My middle school experience has been full of ups and downs, but there are so many supportive teachers in middle school who are always willing to help students and answer questions. One staff member that I've made a really good connection with is Shireen, the librarian. She's really friendly and helpful. If I need anything, I can always go to her and ask. She makes the library a great place to learn and spend lunch times connecting with friends. The library is one of many places you can go during lunchtime. Hazel Glen hosts a lot of clubs. These are great places to go where you can enjoy yourself and make new friends who have similar interests to you. Some of my favorite clubs to go to have been Puzzle Club and the Book Club, where you can be challenged to expand your critical thinking skills or connect with other students who also enjoy reading. This year and last year have been strange years and I don't think anyone expected them to go they, the way they did. Remote learning was definitely a challenge. It was a new experience for all of us and we were all still learning how to do school remotely. But there were also positives. My favourite part of remote learning was that if we worked hard, we could finish our work early before the session was actually finished. And that gave us time to extend ourselves or to take a break and have some time, more time for our own interests. In saying that, I'm still really looking forward to returning to school and connecting with my friends and teachers. And hopefully later this term, we will get the opportunity to meet you and show you around our college. My name's Riley and I'm the Middle School Vice Captain. I remember walking into class on my first day at Hazelburn and I was terrified. I didn't know anyone, which made me more nervous, but the teachers were super nice and never stopped smiling, which calms my nerves. Moving to middle school, I thought the teachers were going to be super strict. When I walked into class, the teachers were joking around, which made it a positive and welcoming environment. In middle school, I've made some really good friends and had opportunities to extend myself, such as McGrath Captain, participating in school production, becoming middle school vice captain, going to camp, and getting to be a part of ADA. ADA has challenged me and pushed me to my limit, but although it can be hard, the teachers always find a way to make it fun. If you are a sporty person, I encourage you to try it out for ADA. Camps are another amazing experience. There are heaps of different activities to do and they challenge you and push you out of your comfort zone. But it's also so much fun. You can hang out with your friends and it's a great opportunity to make new friends as well. The last two years hasn't gone how anyone planned. It's been hectic and challenging, but there have been positive sides to remote learning as well. Like you can complete your work at your own pace and the teachers have made sure we know that they are just an email away and are there to support us with our youth learning. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. Mark Twain. Guys, you're all going into year 7 next year, arguably the start of the most important years in your school and life. Luckily for you, you have a privilege, an opportunity, to shine at our wonderful college where the staff and students are a family of old and young alike. I'm Noah, and I started at Hayes Glen not knowing a single person. It was pretty rough for me, not knowing anyone and not being able to fit into any friendship groups. It didn't make it very enjoyable. It was the next morning in my home group where a teacher asked how our first day was. I didn't want to admit that I couldn't make any friends in front of the whole class. So as the bell rang for the first session, I went and spoke to her. I spared the details, but she gave me advice that really helped me. So I went up to more people and asked them if I could hang out with them. They all agreed. My home group teacher was the epitome of a teacher at Hazel Glen. Caring, supportive, and an all-round amazing person. You'll notice this when you first start at Hazel Glen. Your home group teacher is your first point of call when you have any questions about where your next class is, how to access the learning tasks online, or when an excursion is coming up, they will be able to point you in the right direction. Another thing that our school has that you'll definitely look forward to is the amount of sports that you can compete in. There is something for everyone, if, if swimming at the carnival, doing high jump at athletics day, testing your skill and trying out for one of our many specialised programs in basketball, netball or playing cricket into school. Thank you very much for listening and we look forward to welcoming you. Hi, I'm Michaela and I'm one of the middle school vice captains. From orientation day, middle school has been a great experience where I've made new friends. 
The work hasn't been too hard, but has been challenging enough to teach me new and interesting things. From day one of year seven, school has been really enjoyable, and everyone who was new to the college at year seven, like me, was welcomed by a positive community. In term two of 2020, we went into our first lockdown and we had to adapt to learning from home. This was a steep learning curve for everyone. After months in lockdown, we got to go back to school and then COVID came back and we went back into lockdown. Unfortunately, 2021 has been similar with us going in and out of lockdown. Thankfully, our teachers and parents have helped us through this difficult period, although I'm still looking forward to returning to face-to-face learning where I can see all my friends and teachers and learn in- together in the classroom. During remote learning, our classes utilised technology to make remote learning as smooth as possible. This included using Canvas, Google Classroom and Google Meets. Our whole timetable was set up for us, so we didn't have to stress about what classes we had or falling behind. The Google Meets were really helpful to see our friends and teachers and enabled us to have some normal interactions with our classmates. My friends and I also used social media during remote learning to help us help each other from the comfort of our homes. At Hazel Glen, the college offers lots of clubs and extracurricular activities to help people find their passions and make new friends. The extracurricular activities are often sport related, such as representing a college in a sporting team or just playing for fun at recess and lunch. And the clubs have a variety of interesting things to choose from, such as technology, gym and anime-based clubs. Having clubs assist new students in making friends with similar interests, which provides additional support. This year, Year 8 students have been able to select electives in English and Maths based on their personal interest in their learning. The teachers have done a lot of work in making, helping students with problems and making sure middle school years are as positive as they can be. This was even more evident during the lockdown period by teachers having Google Meets open and answering emails whenever students needed assistance. A big school like Hayes Glen is the perfect place to meet new people and make new friends, as well as finding your interests. Although it hasn't been easy, having teachers and friends during this difficult time made it so much more enjoyable. Thank you. Hi, I'm Thomas Sullivan and I'm the head of school for years six and seven. At Hazel Glen College, our wellbeing structures are set up to support the students at their individual point of need. The first point of call for parents, guardians and students at the college is the child's home group teacher. Your child will spend each morning with their home group teacher, helping them to structure their day, develop organisational skills and connect with their peers, setting them up for a positive learning experience. Students will then spend the majority of their time here where their teachers from core subjects will come to them for their learning. At Year 7, we have two dedicated year level leaders in place to support the needs of our Year 7 cohort. Currently in the position are Brooke Amphia and Robbie McCoy. Brooke and Robbie run a number of connections programs and provide additional guidance around the day to day issues that Year 7s may face. Adding a further layer of support for our Year 7s are College Wellbeing Leader Nicole Stockwell and Year 7 Wellbeing Leader Ben Smith. Ben and Nicole offer a wealth of knowledge, support and guidance, not only for the Year 7 students, but for the college community as a whole. Hazel Glen offers a number of amazing camping programs where students have the opportunity to build connections out of the classroom. They are physically, mentally challenged and come away from these programs with great new life experiences and friendships. It is a college expectation that students attend their year level camp, but I personally recommend that all students attend this as they always come back with positive experiences. At Hazel Glen College, we're extremely p- proud of our uniform and always receive positive feedback from the community when we're out in excursions. Here are a few examples of the different uniforms, including summer, winter, sport, and ADA. Compass will play an important role in the daily life for students and parents while at Hazel Glen College. Students will be able to access their classes and daily notifications, while parents will have access to reports and excursion information, just to name a few features. More information will be sent out regarding how to access and utilise these important features shortly. All information that has been outlined tonight and much more will be sent out in the digital information packs. This pack will include information around iPads, which needs to be a 32 gigabyte model or more with at least 13 gigabytes of available storage. It will include fee structures and stationary list, and these will be sent out at a later date by the college office staff. Parent payment packs will also be distributed shortly. Any prospective students are to contact the middle school transition team via the college phone number or via email at mstransition at hazelglencollege.com. Day one for students will be Tuesday, February the 1st, and we look forward to meeting you all in the near future. For further information, the middle school handbook can be found on the college website. If you have further questions, please feel free to post them on the attached Google form and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.